SpongeBob is like arguably one of the most famous cartoons ever. It's been around pretty much since like the beginning of the time, I believe. SpongeBob really doesn't show any signs that it's going to cancel anytime soon. It's still one of Nickelodeon's highest drawing cartoons, and to be honest, I don't think Nickelodeon can really survive without it at this point. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! We're not worthy! But even the old generation still loves Spongebob, there's so many memories from the old episodes that make us laugh, it's such a well diverse cartoon, but Spongebob's not afraid to get dark at some times, there is some pretty dark episodes such as the Graveyard Shift, just an example. But today we're looking at Season 8 Episode 17 titled Are You Happy Now? Oh boy, here we go. The episode begins at the Krusty Krab like majority of Spongebob episodes do, and basically Spongebob is sat reading the Krusty Krab work schedule, so Squidward asks why is he reading that and Spongebob says it's a book full of his happiest memories. Squidward then bends the book because yeah he's obviously the most relatable character in this entire show, but Spongebob says don't worry I have a whole backup of happy memories. He then asks Squidward what's your favourite happy memory, which Squidward then realises he doesn't really have one which makes Squidward kind of upset about this. Spongebob now takes this upon himself to try and help Squidward have one of his happiest memories, he wants to create a happy memory for Squidward. They go to an orchestra, which is all going good until the guy playing I think the violin fires the burr into Squidward's eye, so obviously that didn't go very well. Spongebob then takes Squidward to an art gallery, which Squidward's work is in the art gallery, so Squidward's obviously over the moon about this because his art's finally in an art gallery, until someone comes in and then sets it on fire and basically puts a little label in front saying it was banned by him. So Squidward and Spongebob now decide to leave the art gallery, yet again still failing to create a happy memory. Spongebob and Squidward are now in a hot air balloon, which Spongebob shows Squidward and Squidward says he's afraid of heights. So Spongebob being an idiot takes out a pen and pops the balloon, which they crash into Mount Bikini, which whilst they're on top of Mount Bikini, Spongebob plants the flag which goes straight through Squidward's foot, which... oh boy. This then causes an avalanche which sends Spongebob and Squidward all the way down the mountain right outside Squidward's house. We now see Squidward going into pretty much a deep depression and he's just wandering around his house, he's not really doing much and he, Spongebob just cannot get in contact with Squidward no matter how hard he tries. Squidward then says that he can't seem to get happy and then get some brownies out of the oven but for a little second or so we just see Squidward basically just put his head in the oven which that's dark, that is very very dark. Spongebob continues to try and get in touch with Squidward which doesn't work, but then see Squidward say he just can't seem to get happy and he steps on a platform with a rope in his arms, he then throws the rope somewhere onto the ceiling, which Nickelodeon really wasn't trying that hard to disguise what they were really going for here. Squidward is just putting up a bed cage, it's, you know, half swerve, but it's, it's kind of easy to see what they were basically saying Squidward wanted to do at this point. All around me are familiar faces. This isn't the first time that Squidward has got this dark. In the episode Squid's Day Off, he goes like insane and has this lovely image. Nickelodeon even put a little reference into Red Mist, which is the creepypasta of Squidward unaliving himself. Nickelodeon actually put a little reference in, I'll show you now. <laughs> Whoops, wrong hard drive. Spongebob then finally gets in touch with Squidward by going into his mail. He then kidnaps Squidward, takes him to the Krusty Krab and surprises him with like a Krusty Krab full of Spongebob replicas, which Squidward is furious and just starts destroying all the Spongebob dummies in kind of like a freak rage. This obviously gives Squidward some like sick satisfaction of just destroying Spongebob. So Squidward then says it's like the happiest day of his life, he now has a lovely happy memory of destroying all of the Spongebob clones and the episode ends. We've dealt with topics like this on other videos like the Family Guy video and the Tom and Jerry video but there was something about this one that just really seemed off. Like yeah obviously Squidward wasn't doing anything bad in retrospective, he was just getting like stuff out of the oven and just tying up a bed cage but they really were going along with this storyline that Squidward is depressed and he is a very sad animal I guess so they really were trying to go for it in this episode and kind of give Squidward a little bit more lore. I would like to do a character analysis on Squidward at some point because I feel like his character is so detailed and has so much to talk about so maybe I'll make kind of part 2 to this video soon just kind of explaining the character of Squidward as well. But that is the end of today's video, I hope you enjoyed. I'm trying so hard to get videos out at the moment but unfortunately I don't have any Wi-Fi until the 15th of June because you know companies suck but I'm using other people's Wi-Fi to try and make as many videos as possible during that time gap so don't worry I'm still gonna try and upload the live streams will be stopped for a while unfortunately because that sucks because I love doing the live streams but anyway 
on to the positive, there's going to be still videos out for you guys and thank you once again for all the love and support on the channel, it really means a lot and I'll see you guys in the next one, cheers.